You'll be able to tell your kids a story where you were when the United States went into utter collapse. It happened right before our eyes. You'll tell them that the mainstream media didn't even cover it. Some serious breaking news from the world of gold. We are focusing on saving you some money. Yes, the first lightning deals for Amazon Prime Day, they arrived overnight. They buried the story. Putin and China saw it happening. They watched as the United States shot itself in the foot. And at the same time, they signed new deals to become the dominant superpower team in the world. You'll be able to tell your kids that the clearest sign of collapse emerged when most Americans were celebrating the 4th of July holiday, buried in hot dogs and hamburgers and fireworks, blissfully unaware that, you know, back in Washington, D.C., President Biden sent out the warning that he was actively preparing thousands of U.S. troops to be sent to Europe. Yeah, because we're at war with Russia, whether or not they want to admit it or not. They won't call it a war, they'll just send Americans to die in Ukraine. But that wasn't even the worst news, because while you were eating hot dogs, they were putting numbers together over at the CBO. Now, the kids call it the Congressional Budget Office. Numbers that were, frankly, earth-shattering. They didn't want to release these numbers to the public because, you know, it would be an admission that America was finished as the global leader. So they waited, and they released it on a Friday during July, when no one's paying attention at all. But we were. And the numbers weren't even on page one of their report. No, it wasn't. Page one was bad enough. Page one of the report actually showed how the U.S. government spending soared 15% higher this year over last year. And the amount of tax revenue it brought in dropped by 9%. I'm no math genius, but that seems bad. Spending up 15% while the amount of money coming in dropped 9%. I don't need a calculator to realize that's bad. Just look at my hands. One is higher than the other. Turns out that the hundreds of billions of dollars going to Ukraine was a huge increase in spending over last year. But no, that wasn't the earth-shattering story. The real story was buried on page 8. Here it is, in highlighted in red. And what it showed made your jaw hit the floor. You did a double take when you saw that the United States has already accumulated a record $652 billion in gross debt interest in 2023. What does that mean? Meaning only the interest part of our U.S. debt payment is $652 billion. And then, because you're a smart person and you looked at the projections and realized, holy shit, the report predicts the interest payments on our national debt will pass $1 trillion this year. What? Your kids are going to say, Daddy, what does that mean? And you'll explain how the U.S. is in such a catastrophic deep hole that we will have to pay $1 trillion in interest payments just to stay in that deep hole. We are $32 trillion in debt, mostly to China and major international banks like J.P. Morgan Chase, who keep, by the way, getting handouts from us, U.S. taxpayers. So in order for us to keep borrowing money from China and Chase Bank, we have to pay $1 trillion in interest payments. The numbers are stunning. Just look at this new chart. This is the interest payments on our national debt exploding. And that means that in the next few months, our costliest government program is no longer Social Security or national defense. No, the number one thing that our government pays for is interest payments on our debt. That's right. More than Social Security, more than anything else. That's right, a trillion dollars a year just to pay the interest on our debt. Well, what does this mean for us exactly? Well, it means that our government is spending more money on interest payments than it is on education, infrastructure, Social Security, even our military. It means that we are literally mortgaging our future to pay for our past mistakes. If you're a parent, this has to be incredibly concerning for you. You're raising children in an environment where a country is collapsing around you. And it means that we're becoming increasingly vulnerable to foreign powers. Russia and China have been watching this with great interest. They see the U.S. as a declining world power, and they're taking advantage of it. Russian President Putin is the first world leader in history to successfully ditch the U.S. dollar without being killed yet. Other leaders have tried to do it, but the U.S. assassinated him. This guy sums it up perfectly. He's speaking Russian, but I've subtitled it for you. Да, последние два, кто это пытались сделать на том свете, да, Мамар Каддафи и Хусейн. Отвязать нефть от доллара. Путин первый президент, при котором это случилось. Мы начали продавать ресурсы не за доллары, за рубли, за юани, за индийские рупии, за что угодно. Теперь 
Саудовская Аравия заключила договор с Китаем и начала продавать нефть за китайские юани. Если брать оборот 100 миллионов баррелей в сутки, мы умножаем на 366 или на 80 долларов, получается около 3 триллионов долларов в год – это оборот нефти на рынке. То есть это 3, миллиона, 3 триллиона долларов в год только спрос на доллар со стороны нефти всего лишь. Половина отвязываем, вот полтора триллиона спроса на доллар в мире нету. Отвязываем газ, отвязываем металлы. Компании начнут занимать не в, не в долларах, а в юанях, в рупиях, не знаю, каждая страна в своем. Наши же компании занимают сейчас в юанях. Начали занимать. В чем проблема? И проценты по ним все выше, 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 а спрос все меньше и меньше. It's true. Russia has been demanding payments for its oil and gas in rubles, and China is moving away from the U.S. dollar in its trade with other countries. This is a major blow to the U.S. dollar, which has been the world's reserve currency for decades. But all of these countries are waking up. And by the way, this isn't just about economics, it's about power. By undermining the U.S. dollar's dominance, Russia and China are asserting their authority on the global stage. They are reducing America's influence, weakening our position, threatening our national security. And the Fed knows what's happening. The only way they'll be able to pay these $1 trillion interest payments is to totally devalue the U.S. currency. That's it. That's the only choice. Inflating the hell out of the U.S. dollar. The Fed backed itself into a corner that they created. I saw one economist say this week that this is the real beginning of the end. Yeah, he's much smarter than I am. Shit is about to get real, folks. That's the news update part of today's video. Now for today's sponsor, which is Element Nutrition. It's just one of a handful of companies that I invest in right now, and I just doubled down on my position in this company because what I'm about to show you. So the way that I invest is I look for companies that have a big price movement opportunity, okay, because I'd like to make money. Companies that no one knows about and are really undervalued. Those are the companies I like to invest in, and then I invest, and then I take those profits that I make and then I invest them in real estate and precious metals, stuff that's away from the US dollar, okay? That's what I do. So this company, Element Nutrition, is one of those companies. It's a hidden gem of a company. Now let me explain if you're interested in making money. Write this stock ticker down. I'll put it up here on the screen. Here it is, E-L-N-S-F. Did you write it down? Good, now you can do your own due diligence, but when you're done with this video, please just wait because I'm gonna give you my research that I've done on this company. I'm gonna talk about the market cap and a few nitty gritty details. But first, this company right now, as of this recording, is up 60% in the last six months, okay? The last time I told you about this company, it was trading at 10 cents a share. Now it's trading at 16 cents a share. So you would have made a lot of money if you saw my last video. Good for you, way to take action. Well, there's good news because it's still very cheap. This stock is still very cheap to buy. Cheap as hell, in fact. And I'm buying more shares of it as we speak and adding more to my portfolio. Now, if you're a smart investor, you'll recognize what I'm about to show you as a gift, a diamond in the rough. It's like finding Lionel Messi on the streets of Argentina before anyone else finds him. Barcelona swoops in, grabs Messi, offers him a contract. The rest is history. Of course, now he's in Miami overnight. Big game in Miami over the weekend. Now he's in America. So the cat was out of the bag when Barcelona found him. Barcelona's big secret was revealed to the world. This stock is like that, in my opinion. It's a huge hidden gem. I've been watching it for quite a long time now. So let's talk about it. And let's talk about what the Nielsen company just said about them last week. Wait until you hear the Nielsen part, and you're going to see why I bought a lot of shares of this company. But first, Element makes a protein drink that is the only peer-reviewed, clinically studied protein drink in the world with proven muscle synthesis. Now, as you age, you lose muscle mass. Certainly feel that. Their Rejuvenate product has proven medical results, and you can read all their peer-reviewed research on their website. I'll put a link in the description so you can do your own due diligence on it. No other company has this patent. And now that product is about to hit store shelves at 6,000 CVS stores, 8,000 Walgreens stores, and thousands of other distribution points. So it's about to launch, guys. Again, this is like finding Messi before anyone else. And that's when I like to invest in these companies right before a stock surges on big sales numbers or like a company that, you know, hits gold or finds amazing minerals in the ground. I like to invest before they do that or before they make those big announcements. So even if Johnson & Johnson or Pfizer or somebody else wanted to get in on this, they couldn't because Element Nutrition took 17 years and over $20 million to get this patent. They own the patent on it. Now here's the best part. Nielsen Research just released their report last week. 
So I was going through the numbers on this. This is amazing. And they specifically focused on Element's protein drink, Rejuvenate, which is about to launch. And they believe that Element will sell 19.5 million in revenue in the next 12 months. That means the market cap would skyrocket north of 100 million. So what, you say? Well, right now, their market cap is only 15 million. So skyrocketing to 100 million. Yeah, you heard me right. Those are good projections. When Nielsen did their research, the response on their research subjects was off the charts. Element's protein drink outperformed 67% of the other companies that they tested against. And then Nielsen predicts once people buy the drink, they will buy it more than 30 times per year. That's more than twice a month. That's repeat customer business for this company. Nielsen also found that people love the fact that this muscle protein drink wasn't dairy-based, no milk in it. So people who don't like milk could drink it and it tasted great. So that's where Nielsen came up with their 19 million in revenue in just 12 months. They didn't pull these numbers out of thin air. And you cannot find another public company that exists where the market cap is a little over half of what they spent on research and development alone to acquire the patent on their product. Again, the market cap is 15 million on this company. The R&D costs 20 million. And the company is about to sell their new Rejuvenate drink at over 33,000 points of distribution, including 6,000 CVS stores, 8,000 Walgreens stores. Okay, I've talked about the market cap and how undervalued it is, in my opinion. And I've also talked about the new Nielsen report, which is out predicting huge sales when they launch this product. But I haven't mentioned the CEO yet. Another reason I'm so bullish on this company is the CEO of Element Nutrition, and that's Stuart Lowther. He's a great CEO. He's a master of sales and distribution. He knows everyone in this business. And it would normally take years to get your product into a CVS store or a Walgreens store. But he picks up the phone and he gets these products placed in these stores fast because of his connections, his past track record. He's previously sold a nutrition company that he founded, made over $40 million exit on that company. He's been able to ramp up revenues 1,000% in two previous companies that he's led. So he knows exactly what he's doing and he's doing it again with this company. Oh, and I saved the best part for last actually, because Stewart owns 18 million shares of this company. That's $3 million of his own money in the company. So he's got a lot of skin in the game. I always like when the founders, owners of a company have a lot of money in the company. So again, in my opinion, this company is incredibly cheap right now, deeply discounted. It's trading at 16 cents a share right now as of this Sunday. Today is Sunday, July 16th. I need my glasses. Yeah, it's the 16th of July. Here is the stock ticker on your screen. Once again, write this down, do your own due diligence because this is a smaller stock. So you'll need to use one of the larger brokerages to buy it. I personally use E-Trade to buy some of my smaller market cap stocks like this one or some of my small precious minerals companies as well. I use E-Trade for that. So guys, don't let this one pass you by. Do your own research on it. I'm giving you the tools. Now go out and make some great money. And I'll see you next time, everyone.